Good morning. This is JHS Weekly. I'm Gavin Hollingshead. And I'm Andrew Myers. If you have the pain to gain, then the JHS Esports Club might have a spot for you. I had a chance to check out some cool after-school clubs here at JHS. Usually, you get in trouble for playing video games in school. Well, not with this team. They're the JHS Esports team Ryan Burnside leads the Smash Bros. teams. Uh, I've been playing Smash in general since the Nintendo 64 one came out, so since the very first Smash Brothers, because that was when I was a little kid. Uh, so I played Smash Brothers Brawl, Smash, Smash Brothers Melee, uh, Smash 4, and then Smash Bros. Ultimate. So I've been playing for seriously like 20 years. Burnside isn't just looking to improve at the game himself, he's also looking to help the students improve as well. I just really like being here to support the kids and help them get these matches set up and help them get better at Smash Bros so that they can win. And it's also fun to get to know some of the kids that I don't have in my own classes. Matthew Goins is a player on the varsity team for Smash and League of Legends. Matthew says that the club is not just for long timers, it's also very friendly for beginners. Uh, it, that applies for both Smash Bros and League. We have some people come in who have never played the games, that we, uh, that we just have them play the game a little bit and get good at the game over time. The team meets after school four times a week in Mr. Bradfield's class, four to six on Mondays and Tuesdays, as well as four to five on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So people can come to hang out pretty much any time that's not the tournament day, so not Monday and Tuesday. They can come hang out Wednesday and Thursday. Burnside says that there are two times to try out for the team per year. But if they want to compete, they have to try out at the start of each semester. So next fall, sorry, next spring, if they want to try out for Smash, it'll just be at the start of the spring semester. Or if they want to try out for League of Legends, it'll also be at the start of the spring semester. Bradfield says that they could expand the club into other esports. So if you are interested in esports, the team is accepting tryouts in the spring. Reporting for Jet HD, Gavin Hong said. If you had lunch today, you have a farmer to thank for the meal. Jet HD or Jet HD's Josiah Rizzo is showing us how students are learning about different jobs in agriculture. Joplin hosted its annual agriculture hey, expo. Sure. Students had a chance to meet the various animals that are down on the farm. Wyatt Hensley is the vice president of the Joplin FFA, and he says students are often not aware where their food comes and from. I think it's very important that students go around they look I mean if they don't know what they want to do this could be a possible you know hey I want to do this be a good career exploration um, I think another good takeaway from the Ag Expo is just learning more about agriculture agriculture is not only a big part like of the economy but just in everyday life I mean we're agriculture is basically life and I think it's important that students know that the Ag Expo that Joplin hosts every year is a great way for students to come and connect with the agricultural businesses, both big and small, that are in our community. Uh, along with those businesses, college and trade schools also show up, so if the students are really invested in going into a business in agriculture, this is a great place for them to make those connections and really get started. Students were let out of class to see this event. Brandon Gurner is with Apex Welding Academy, and he says hopefully some of these students will make agriculture a career. Uh, so far it's been really cool, talking to, met a lot of different kids, uh, got to talk to a lot of different kids and kind of pick their brain about what they want to do as a career. And if they want to do something in the construction industry, we can help point them in the right direction, or if they want to do welding, then we can definitely find a way to suit their needs. This is the eighth annual Ag Expo, and plans are already underway for next year. Reporting for Jet HD, this is Josiah Rizzo. This week is homecoming week and there are lots of activities going on. On Wednesday, October 5th at 6.30 p.m., the annual homecoming parade will take place on Main Street and will run from 3rd Street to 7th Street. Friday, October 7th is the homecoming football game at Jung Field. The crowning of homecoming king and queen will take place at 6.30 and the game will start at 7.00. On Saturday, October 8th, the homecoming dance will be held at JHS in the JHS cafeteria. Tickets will be on sale during lunch all, all this week and will be $8 or you can buy them at the door for $10. Dress for the homecoming dance is semi-formal. Please contact Ms. Bagby or Mrs. Trevino if you have any questions. Several students from around the world have traveled thousands of miles to take classes in Joplin. Today, I'm introducing you to just a few of Joplin's 2022 foreign exchange students. Blending in with the crowds of Joplin High School, there are a handful of students from the other side of the globe. Three of them are in Mr. Wolf Zorndel's digital photography class at JHS. 
One of them is Hirushika Dasgupta, and she's from India, and she's amazed by how different the American school system is. So many different types of electives, I think. We don't really have that. Our curriculum is more academic based, and I think the relationship that students share with their teachers, I think that's pretty cool. Fiona Dittner is a junior from Berlin, and she says Japan is a lot different than Germany. Well, it's a small city with only one mall <laughs> and not many shops, so it's a huge difference from such a big city to Berlin. Eliana Jaeger, a junior from Germany as well, says the food took a bit of time to get used to. Also, um, Americans use lots, lots of cheese and some things are like the bread are not good here. But I'm also like enjoying the drive throughs and everything because in Germany we don't have a lot. Seth Wolfschwindel, an arts teacher at Joplin, has hosted several foreign exchange students at his home in the past and he says it's important to make them feel welcome. Try to be, if you, if you know that there's an exchange student in your class, you know, don't be afraid to talk to them. They're here to, to share culture. So you, most of them really want to like talk about their country and their culture and they want to learn about ours. That's the whole point. Uh, but you don't, it can be awkward starting that conversation, but trust me, once you get to know them, it's, it's really awesome. The students are only here for a few months, so make them feel welcome. Reporting for JDHD, this is Andrew Myers. Thousands of students go to Joplin High, so have you ever wondered what administrators do to keep everyone safe? JetHG's Sydney Arfin sits down and talks with one of the school's resource officers at Joplin High School, who has a very hard job. Not all police officers work at the precinct. Officer Jason Barchok works at Joplin High School. He's the school resource officer, and his job is to keep the students and staff safe, but he needs some help. Make the school safer, uh, but namely this year we're kind of putting an emphasis on making sure we don't prop doors open, and not only allow strangers or other students in the building if they're not coming in the main entrance. Emily Davis is a junior at Joplin High School and thinks having bar chalk on the job helps her feel safe with the rules about keeping the doors locked. So they're making the new rules around here, like keeping doors locked, just having office, uh, resource officers at school um, to protect us if anything happens. Emily wants to remind people to make sure to follow the rules to keep us all safe. Making sure doors are locked and closed and making sure all gates are closed. Also, this year, they've added a second resource officer to help protect the students. Reporting for Jet HD, this is Sydney Arkin. Not all this has been JHS Weekly. Thanks for watching.